Hello! In this video, I'll go ahead and show you how to create a Beachforce page and save it as a Word document. So first things first, as you can see, I am logged in into my developer I am fork that I requested for free. And now from here, the first thing we'll go ahead and do is open up the developer console, which is at the top right side of the screen. You need to click on this gear icon and then click on developer console. That should open up a new window. In this case, instead of me opening it up in a new window, I'm going to click with the scroll wheel from my mouse and that should open it up in a new tab, just like this. We close this one and from here, we'll go ahead and click where it says file. Then we'll, we'll select new and from here we'll click where it says visual first page. Now let's enter a name. Let me add it for example, um, demo page. Then click on enter and that will go ahead and add the initial text for your Apex page. Now the first thing we'll need to do here is basically edit this Apex page tag that we have at the beginning. This is where we can go ahead and indicate how we want to generate the visual first page. In this case, I already have, as you can see here, I already have the tag ready. I'm going to just copy it and then paste it. And I'm going to replace the part that says standard controller with the controller that I intend to use, depending on which object I'm going to be using for my visual first page. The rest of the tags pretty much indicate visual first page, what are the characteristics that we want to apply to it? For example, here it, it, where it says content type, we are indicating that we want to generate it as a Microsoft Word document with doc extension. Then we are indicating that we want to hide the sidebar, um, that we want to apply HTML tags, and something that is very important as well, we are indicating that we want to render this as an HTML. Make sure to do not forget this tag as well because if you forget this your browser will not generate the doc uh, file correctly. Now that we have the, the text the next thing we need to do is just add some content to our page. In this case I'm going to start by adding a head tag right after the apex um, page tag. I'm going to copy the one that I already have here. Now this tag that I just added, it's the head tag. Head tag is uh, you're probably familiar with this if you have seen HTML pages before. So you can use this tag to include a style tag inside of it. And on here you can indicate some CSS styling that you would like to apply to your Visual Force page. I'm gonna go below that, and I'm gonna add another tag that is gonna be called body. And from here we'll add a little bit of text just to see. It how it's going to look in our word page. So I'm going to put h1 tag to make the text look a little bit bigger. And then let's add something like Okay, so now we have added some content to it. And now let's go ahead and save it. As you can see right now, this is not safe. And we know that because here at the top on the name, it's showing this asterisk. So in order for you to save this, go ahead and on your keyboard, um, press the control and the save keys. That hotkey is gonna save it as you can see right now, now that it has been saved, you just need to click on the preview button. That is gonna open up a new tab where it's going to attempt to generate your Visual Force page. And as you can see in this case, it was successful and it was able to download a doc file. I'm going to click here on the result. It should open it up in Word. And there we go. As you can see, the content that we added is being successfully generated and then it's being saved as a doc file. Something else to take into consideration if you are doing this, for example, um, if you are attempting to do this with an account record and you want to see if it works with an actual record, then you can do that by using the preview, but instead of just 
if I was able to copy it correctly. Nope. Basically, you will need to add a record ID on the address bar to the preview option, or um, you can go ahead and directly access the URL from the page. So one way that you can do this uh, to visualize this with an actual record is the following. Go ahead and, and copy the URL from the developer console. Open a new tab. Go ahead and paste it. And then just delete everything up to where it says Salesforce.com. Then go ahead and include Apex. Then put a forward slash. And then go ahead and enter the name of your page. In this case, it will be um, demo page. And once you have done that, as you will see here on the document itself, the next thing you need to do is add a parameter on the URL, which in this case, it should be something like this. The name of your page, then you need to include and ID equals, and then from here, you need to go ahead and, and type the ID of the record that you want to pass to the visual force. If you do that, when once the visual force page is generated, it's gonna take this parameter and it's gonna use it to generate any of the fields that you might have included here. This is also an excellent way to generate it if you wanna do it instead of using the preview button. So I'm gonna show you by, I'm gonna remove that and then hit enter from here. And as you can see, we just generated the file once again. So I hope this was useful. Uh, let us know if you have any questions and thank you for your attention.